Lead the way, boss. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy right here. What's up, Jason? Boom, bro. So we in here. Jay working. Look at this shit. Jay's a man of multiple hats. Podcast, producer, watering the fucking plants. That kind of looks like wolf bread, dog. Look at this shit. Fuck, it smells like wolf bread. Fucking schlappers. This shit's crazy. I'm not even playing. I cannot overstate how crazy it is to be standing here right now, coming from the traditional market to where we are now is fucking bonkers. So what do you think, Lamworth? It's fucking crazy or what? Did you, ever think we'd, did you ever think we'd end up here, bro? Fucking legal amigo? No. Out here with the recreational plants and shit? I don't know how you did it. I, I don't know how we did it, though. Look at how cool that fucking shot is. I feel like I'm like an actual cinematographer. I don't know if it's me or the weed, but it makes the shot really cool. Look at that shit. Walking around like I know what I'm doing. I always say this. I always say this. You gotta know what you're good at and know what you're not good at. I don't grow weed, but I can sell the fuck out of it. See, you need people like Alex and Dom and the crew over here that actually know how to grow weed. We from the traditional market, dog. What y'all know about that? What y'all know about that sketchy ass meetup at the Kmart parking lot? You know, a lot of people call it like a legacy market, the legacy operators, but are they legacy? You know, those are the legacy operators we're talking about, the people that were around before recreational. Uh -huh. But are they legacy? Did they leave a legacy? Did any of these operators leave a legacy? Or are new operators, like in Shannon Botanicals, the ones that are going to truly leave the legacy for New Mexico into the future? I mean, when they look back, are people going to remember the grow that I ran in Mother of Herbs? Are they going to remember the grow that I ran in Southwest Wellness? Even that time in San Diego Botanicals? Uh -huh. Will they? Who knows? We're probably gonna, you know, think about what's coming in the future. And so that's what we're looking at. We're looking at what we can do in the future and trying to make New Mexico somewhere that does have a legacy. Make medicine, you know, don't put profits over patients. That don't look like work. It looks like you guys are staring at bins. Oh, uh, <laughs> staring yeah. at bins? Hey, oh, hey, it's, bro. it's right here, uh, Dom. Uh, yeah. We're just making sure the wolf's bread, you know. All right, I see you. All right. Listen, it's still turkey bag gang gang. I don't care if it's traditional market or recreational market. We came for the turkey bag era, and we're still in the turkey bag era. Shit's just legal now. <laughs> Bro, I cannot tell you guys how fucking crazy this peach pie smells. It's fucking nuts. Alex, I'm gonna have yeah. to take a handful of this right here. Hey, my drink's so bad. Uh, nah, I can't hear you. This pack's too fucking loud. Yeah, I know, dad jokes. I don't give a fuck. It's gonna make the fucking vlog. What? And what? Bro, you got a problem or what? Damn, this wolf's bread fucking smells crazy now, dog. You guys see this shit right here? Look, peep it. This is, this is my R&D right here. This is my research and development. I pull up, I'm like, Alex, I need to try this new round of wolf's bread. This is what he brings me. He's like, tell me what five pounds of it smokes like. Oh, That's yeah. it? That's Only it? five? Only five. Cut back, Johnny. You ain't even a real fucking smoker, dog. Only five pounds, You cut bro? back recently, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I usually get in the gym earlier than fuck, but since I had to go to the grow today, I had to come in in the afternoon. I don't give a fuck though. We're still getting it in.
I knew it. I knew it was you, Luke. Busted. In your hole, digging more. Busted, bro. All right, so about a year and a half ago, Enchanted fucking slid into the DMs, dog. They're like, hey, bro, we really like what you're doing. You wanna come into the shop and maybe get some weed, right? And you know, for me, shit, free weed is fucking free weed. So I said, fuck yeah, I'm on my way. What's crazy about that meeting is literally within the first 30 minutes, all of us were like, you know what? Why don't you have your own strain? And I was like, I agree with y'all. Why the fuck don't I have my own strain? Look at that. Sheesh. I wish y'all could smell that shit. We all agreed that me having my own strain was probably a really good idea. And it's something that I've been wanting to do for you know a long time. Everybody's on the same page. We're like, let's make a strain. You know me, I had to keep it New Mexico specific. That was one of my stipulations. And the first two strains were all sick OG and all sick gas. And it was like, oh shit, that smells so fucking good. It was like the beginning stages. We were kind of just getting our feet wet because Enchanted was a new company too. They had just opened their dispensary, I don't know, maybe like two or three months before they slid into the motherfucking DMs, dog. We could not have expected it to go as well as it did. It was fucking crazy. We sold out like that. So we knew then that we had something special and we wanted to keep moving forward. For me in this game, I've been doing this shit forever, right? And I remember back, you know, in my early 20s when I stopped selling dope, right? I realized that the reason that game was so fucked up and so fucked up on me mentally is because I was poisoning the people around me, right? I was destroying the people that were close to me for fucking profit. And whether I realized it or not at the time, it really was fucking with me. I had to step away. There was no benefit in what I was doing except for for me, except for me making fucking money. And at the time I fucking needed it. And when I first started, I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck who I hurt and I didn't care about that type of shit. But as I got older, I realized that it was taking its fucking toll on me physically, mentally, I wasn't doing what the fuck I was meant to do. They used to try and say that weed was in the same category as fucking crack, as fucking shards. You mean to tell me you think weed is in the same conversation as a fucking Shiva? Are you fucking crazy? The difference I noticed when I was selling dope and when I was fucking pushing trees, cannabis is medicine. So, I wasn't hurting nobody. I was helping. I was helping people that were in pain. I was helping people that were sick. And even if they weren't super fucking sick and they just needed like a break from reality, I was also helping that. I wasn't destroying people. It wasn't me serving them poison anymore. I've smoked pretty consistently since I was 13 till now with, you know, a couple power naps in between. And to watch this industry go from, oh man, put that shit down, put that shit down, bro. No, 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 you're gonna get popped, bro. Nah, don't call me on the phone. To what you guys just seen over there legally cultivating fire is crazy as fuck to me. I was so used to, hey bro, don't fucking take that out in front of my fucking house. The fuck is wrong with you? Put that shit down. Don't roll a joint in front of my fucking pad. My neighbors are watching. Fast forward to when we drop the strains, I'm signing my own fucking weed jars legally. And now, you know, I got my Hito over there working and he's learning the ins and outs of it. And you know, he's still young. So, you know, if that's what he wants to do with his life, then he's in the perfect position to be able to use it and to be able to walk down that path and walk down that path with a team of people that really, really, really care about the plant, about the product and about the patient, because that's important. You got a lot of these companies out here that really don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? A lot of these people didn't even smoke weed, shit. A lot of these people would have fucking arrested me 
when I was actually out here fucking getting it in. They looked at me like I was a fucking marijuana and I was a bad fucking dude because we were smoking trees. And now look, a lot of these motherfuckers are begging to get into this game. And they're in the game because they got money. It's a trip to see what this industry's already done. It's a trip to see where this is going to go. And I'm excited for the future. You know, like, I got to take it slow. I didn't want to, like, jump out the fucking gate guns blazing because, for one, when you start doing business with somebody you haven't done business with, I like to take it easy because you never really know. Six months could pass by and you could be like, fuck these dudes. I don't fuck with none of these motherfuckers. I don't want to do business with y'all. I've been blessed enough to have a team around me that believes in what I'm doing and I believe in what they're doing. And we're building something really, really fucking special. And I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for all these new strains. I'm just excited to learn more about the, about the industry being where I am now. So I definitely am gonna bring you guys along on this wild cannabis adventure we find ourselves currently embarking on. So stay tuned because we ain't slowing down. We ain't pumping the brakes. We're just gonna pour more gas on the fire.